I hope you've been smiling this week. I have. There's a lot to smile for. But this, this is what Sligo Jazz is all about. This is about collaboration with friends. This is about making music because we know that music makes us feel better. And we want to share that with everybody else. I love this guy, Mike Nielsen. He's been a personal friend of mine for many years. Do you know, he really put me on my way uh, as an academic. He rang me and asked me to do a master's in jazz performance at DIT in Dublin. He was in charge of the course. And you know, I had never even studied music at school. I was just a player. And he got me through as a supervisor. And through that, I went on to do a PhD. And I even got to work with him whenever he was doing his PhD as he followed me in Derry. Great guy. Huge contributor to this festival over the years. A huge contributor to education, to performance, to composition for this town. In many ways, at times, putting this town on the map with different projects that he's done uh, and collaborations he's made with musicians from all over the world. He is a great guy. Well, I love this story because this is the Nielsen Cusack Trio, N-C-T. Trio? Yeah. Andy Cusack on piano. One of the stalwarts of Sligo Jazz. The gentleman of Sligo Jazz in many ways. Somebody that we all look up to as a figurehead and as a friend. Dr. Mike Nielsen on guitar. He needs no explanation. He's such a character. He's such a player. And the third person, little Oscar, Mike's son, Oscar Nielsen. Do you know, what a pleasure to put this trio on. And I'll let you into a secret. The age gap between Andy Cusack and Oscar Nielsen is 68 years. Not only is it what jazz is all about, it's what Sligo's all about. NCT, Nielsen Cusack Trio.
Okay, one of those special events that I was talking about. This is a celebration of one of the great albums in jazz. Now brace yourselves whenever I tell you that it was first recorded and released 72 years ago. 72 years ago. An album that was one of the seminal records that changed the way we think, the way we listen, the way we play, the way we compose. In many ways, it was a reaction to bebop. It was a new direction, led of course by Miles Davis, who seemed to like new directions, with arrangements by Gil Evans. It was the birth of the cool. Well, what a celebration of music in Ireland. What a celebration of the, music, of the ability of horn players to read and to reproduce and to improvise so authentically in this extremely special presentation of the album, live, live from Hawkswell Theatre. Some of the best musicians that Ireland has ever produced that have, have a session background to them as well as a jazz intention. And it's led by one of our foremost ever musicians in Ireland, drummer Conor Guilfoyle. This is the Conor Guilfoyle Octet's presentation of Birth of the Cool. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hawkswell Theatre in Sligo. Uh, my name is Conor Guilfoyle. This is my octet. And we're going to be playing the music from Birth of the Cool. Now, Birth of the Cool was originally written in 1948. It was a two album set, really, two different sessions. And uh, it really was a hugely influential piece of, mu piece of music that really influenced jazz right through, right through this present day, even though it's nearly 70 years old, or maybe even a little more at this stage. And um, this is the first time the music has been formed in Ireland. Uh, I'll introduce you to the band later, but we're going to start off with a piece by Jerry Mulligan called Juru. <laughs>
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me introduce you to the guys in the band, starting in the furthest corner over there on the piano, Luke Howard. Moving along at the back here, we've got Bill Blackmore on trumpet, Colm O'Hara on the trombone, hiding behind there is Barry Rycraft on the bass, and our front line, Yuzaha O'Holloran on the alto saxophone, sitting in on, with us today for his first time, Tom Carraher on tenor, doing a great job, and of course, Callum Walsh on the baritone. Uh, we're gonna continue on now with a tune called Budo, which was written by Miles Davis for the session. And uh, of course, it's dedicated to the great piano player, Bud Powell. Okay.
Now we're going to continue with a tune written by Jerry Mulligan and arranged by Jerry Mulligan called Venus de Milo. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now we're going to slow things down a little bit with a ballad called Moon Dreams. Um, this was uh, arranged by the great Gil Evans. And in fact, this recording is probably the first collaboration between Gil Evans and Miles Davis. Of course, they went on to do many more collaborations after this. Um, this really is a tune that brought together classical elements into it, classical harmonic elements into the music, and it became known as what became known as Third Stream later on, uh, as you'll hear. And uh, anyway, so this is Moon Dreams. Okay, we're going to continue on with the tune again, another one by Jerry Mulligan, who's one of the principal arrangers in this suite of music, for want of a better word. A great baritone saxophone player who actually uh, went on to record a lot of what, was, what became known as cool jazz with Chet Baker in a later quartet. Anyway, this is a tune of his called Deception.
Now we're going to continue with another Jerry Mulligan tune and arrangement done for the session called Godchild. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
OK, we're going to continue on with yet another Jerry Mulligan arrangement, this time called Rocker. Okay, now we got another tune by Gil Evans, and I have to say I think this is one of my favorite tunes from the set. Uh, the tune is called Boplicity. Uh, it's a bebop tune with very different harmonies, uh, a really nice mix where he really got the level right of the swing feel, the bebop feel, yet modern classical harmony put in. Anyway, this is Boplicity.
This is the last tune of the evening, and uh, before we play it, I just want to give a special thanks to the Sligo Jazz Project, the Hawkswell Theatre, and particularly to Eddie Lee, who's done Trojan work to keep us, keep us working. He has a great festival ahead, a lot of good music. Uh, we were originally meant to come here last year. Of course, uh, we were embarking on a 10-day tour. We got two dates in, and unfortunately, like the rest of the country, we all got taken short. So it really is a pleasure to be coming back here to do this in this form. So once again, big thank you, Eddie. Big thank you, Sligo Jazz Project. Uh, the tune we're going to play is a tune written by Denzel Best. And it's arranged by John Lewis, who's the piano player, of course, from the Modern Jazz Quartet. And it features the band. And it's called Move.
very glad to say that one of our international commissions has come through with something extremely special. Filmed on location in Granada Forest, South American originally band based in Spain, Fisca, P-H-I-S-Q-A, led by drummer and composer Cote Calme. Does that name mean something to you? It should. He played an enormous part of the Irish jazz scene until recently. He was a wonderful person to work with. He was significant in terms of being a contributor to so many fantastic rhythm sections that have legend status with us today in jazz in Ireland. He's left a legacy and I'm so glad that he released this incredible album from my personal view, because of course my radio show, BBC Jazz World, with Lindy Hamilton and BBC Radio Ulster every Saturday night at nine o'clock, we have really played this to death. And why not? These musicians are immense, but I have to apologize in advance because even though I've played them six times on my radio show, there's too many in the band for me to get the names right. And the pronunciations are just that wee bit tricky. So I have to read them off the phone, if you don't mind. Miguel de Gemma on soprano sax. Carlos Laguerra, tenor sax. Alberto Martin, trumpet and flugelhorn. Mario Alonso, guitar. Alejandro Tomeo, electric fretless and double bass. And our boy, Cote, on drums, composition and recording. The cultural experience that these guys have had as individuals and the training they've had in their home countries is very evident here. It's evident in the energy, it's evident in the writing, it's evident in the, the technical aspects of that cultural playing that they bring to this party. It makes them really unique, certainly for uh, a European band. They are so exciting and you are in for a very special treat. Please stay to the end. Fiske, P-H-I-S-Q-A, led by Kodai Kalme. This is a great gig. Hi everybody. Welcome to Granada, welcome to Sligo Jazz Project. We're Pishka, and this is Guacamayos.
Thanks everybody for sticking around. Um, we're going to continue with a song from the Pachamama CD called Folly. Hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the show. Um, this next song we're going to play is titled Shipiba, and it's an arrangement of a chant from the Peruvian jungle from Elisa Vargas. And we arrange it in order to be more into the jazz focused part of, of music. Um, and I hope you really like it. This is again Shipiba. Okay, now I'm not sure 
Well, thank you very much, Sligo Jazz Project. Thank you very much, Eddie Lee. Uh, we're really, really happy to to be part of this year's Sligo Jazz Project. Uh, I would like to introduce the band before we finish. Mario Alonso on the guitar. Yeah. La guitarra. Yeah. Alberto Martin on the trumpet. <laughs> Miguel De Gema on the soprano saxophone. Yeah. Carlos Ligero on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> and Alejandro Tamayo on the electric bass and double bass. The teacher, the teacher. <laughs> uh, my name is Kote Calmed, we are Pishka. Uh, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, our website, pishka.net. And uh, yeah, we're going to finish off with a little cumbia from the Peruvian jungle. This is called Manu. Hope you like it. And to